For the ships that journey across the Great Lakes, it's the beginning of a long season and many challenging miles. This is the most interesting part of that journey, from the Sioux Locks to Lake Huron on the St. Mary's River. On this day, three freighters are stacked in the pouring rain. It's like trying to thread a needle uh, into an opening that's not there. It's a place that brings more than 500,000 people each summer to watch freighters glide through. Visitors are able to talk to the deckhands. This is the closest you will ever get to one of these Great Lakes freighters anywhere. You can't get much closer without getting on board. It's an engineering marvel that allows these freighters to even get this far. The Sioux Locks, now in operation, spend every winter in a state of repair. If you work here and there's never a dull moment, there's always something going on, there's something that demands your attention. The Army Corps of Engineers has 10 weeks to fix anything that's wrong in the locks. This year, it was the MacArthur Lock. Almost everything you see here is usually underwater. Sixty feet down, these are the culverts, the tunnels that carry all the water used to raise and lower ships. Normally full of water, in the winter, it's like walking through a cave, complete with stalagmites as impatient water drips back in. After all the welding, lifting, and drilling, inevitably on March 25th, the locks are ready, and these vessels put on a show that people can't get enough of. Once through the locks, these downbound freighters start their journey down the St. Mary's River, a boat watcher's dream. Freighters stop for nothing, smashing through the ice coming out of the rock cut. Starting to disappear are the pine trees, once used to celebrate Christmas, then used to mark the ice bridge south of Nebish Island, now crushed by passing Lakers. Riders on the Drummond Island Ferry get the show of a lifetime. Sometimes, as big as these vessels are, you don't even know they're there. In the fog, the Arthur M. Anderson seems to materialize out of nowhere. The ship best known for its proximity to the ill-fated Edmund Fitzgerald has weathered worse, and under the watchful eye of the Detour Reef Lighthouse, she'll sail on. <laughs> 